Hello, peeps. I've got a little bit of a call for help on this particular vlog of mine today. As you can see, I've got my Nexus 10 here and my Samsung S4 phone, both of which operate on slightly different versions of Android. Um, but the thing is, I've updated both of them recently, and I'm having power consumption problems with both of them. Less so the phone, but there's always been a slight issue with that, but the Nexus 10 on the other hand, that is taking the biscuit when it comes to power consumption. For one thing, it's taking absolutely ages to charge up, a lot longer than it used to. The phone on the other hand is still taking a relatively quick period of time to charge up, but it still discharges its battery quite quickly even when you've got nothing running on it. Nothing in the background, that is. For the most part, I only usually have the Wi-Fi on when I'm in the house, and I only use the mobile data when I'm actually moving around from place to place and I actually need to be online. As far as this is concerned, though, this is strictly a house machine, it is quite annoyingly running out of juice a lot faster than it used to. I don't know if this is age or not, but it only really started happening once I actually updated the software on both of them. Now, when the software got updated, it completely changed the look of the operating systems for the worst, as far as I'm concerned. Um, the phone not quite so bad because it's something I use on a more regular basis, so I got used to it more quickly. Uh, on the f on the tablet, it was a little bit more tricky, so to speak. Some of the things that's changed, it's definitely changed for the worst. I'm just going to show you. Uh, in the top right-hand corner, you can see my clock. Then you can see the battery. Then you can see the Wi-Fi. Then you can see the alarm. Now, what it used to do when it came to the actual battery stuff. Okay and all the other settings. It used to be pulled down along one side here, whereas there'd be something else on another side there altogether. You can see here is that the Wi-Fi is all connected. It's got a full connection right now. So what it used to look like was um, uh, the same pie-shaped design, but it would be in bars. Okay? Now, it's still in bars to a degree, you just can't see the gap anymore. But what it would used to do, if you were connected but not getting a signal for any reason, you weren't actually getting information transferred back and forth, it would go orange to give you that warning. It doesn't do that anymore, which is frankly a bit useless. When it went orange, you actually had a warning that something was wrong. You could actually do something about that. You can't now because you don't get that warning. You have to fiddle around a bit more to uh, get things to work. But anyhow, so this is a call to help. If anybody knows why this might be happening, it might just simply be the age of the devices. It's both over two years old now. Uh, but I somehow doubt that. But if anybody knows what's going on, if they can offer any suggestions on how to actually sort that out, please let me know, comment below, uh, direct message me if you like, and maybe we can actually get this sorted out. Thank you very much for watching. Toodle bit.